Today I want to talk a little bit about the Linux Mint Mate. Yes, this is not the flagship of Linux Mint because the flagship is Linux Mint with the Cinnamon desktop. And this is because the Linux Mint team is the developer of Cinnamon. And so maybe the Mate and the XFCE desktops are not so important for them than Cinnamon. But nevertheless, I think Mate and XFCE is worth to check it out because it's very good. It is not as functional as Cinnamon, but it's great uh, for weak computers. I personally have a soft spot for Mate because I have been using it in Ubuntu Mate or with Arch Linux before I switched to XFCE and my wife uses a Linux Mint Mate and she's very happy with that. Welcome to Joe Loves Linux and if you also love Linux, this is the right channel for you and consider to subscribe. I would appreciate that very much. Uh, first look at Linux Mint Mate, it's almost the same than uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon. You have the welcome screen and you check first steps, you will see it looks the same. You can do the same things than in Linux Mint uh, Cinnamon and the uh, design and the look and the feel and the behavior is just the same. You can um, have a system snapshots with time shift, you have a driver manager, update manager and you can change the desktop colors. I don't go uh, deep into that because I talked about that in my Linux Mint Cinnamon video. You could check that out if you're interested in the welcome screen and in a Linux Mint Cinnamon. So let's go into uh, the Linux Mint Mate specific uh, things. So let's close that because this is the same and now let's open the application menu. You can see here, this is very useful. You have some places and uh, some shortcuts to system tools like software manager, package manager, control center, terminal, lock screen, logout quit. And here you have categories and here you have the applications. And you also have a search bar if you, for, for example, uh, look for um, LibreOffice Writer. You can type in here and, well, here you see LibreOffice Writer and you can click on that or you can open it with the return key. So that's good. And let's go to the control center because maybe you want to configure yourself how Linux Mint Mate looks or works. Uh, here we have some administration tool. Again, this is very similar to Linux Mint Cinnamon because these are the tools that Linux Mint provides. And it doesn't matter if you use Cinnamon or Mate or XFC. So this is all the same, the driver manager, the backup tool. This also is pretty much the same than in Ubuntu because the driver manager is um, more or less the driver manager you get if you use Ubuntu. So here we have Synaptic Package Manager. I prefer that because the software manager is GNOME Software and GNOME Software is good if you uh, look for uh, the most popular applications like GIMP or Darktable or Krita or something like that. But if you want to get access to all applications available in the repositories, you should use Synaptic Package Manager because it's much better than the software manager um, provided by GNOME. Uh, it's also different uh, to Ubuntu Mate because they have the software boutique. Here in the software boutique in Ubuntu Mate, you only find editor's picks. I 
would um, recommend to check out Synaptic Package Manager because it's better in, in my honest opinion. So let's go to the look and feel. Here we have appearance and quick. You will see this is the design that you get with Linux Mint Cinnamon because uh, these themes are also developed by Linux Mint for Cinnamon. And so you can use them in Mate and XFCE too. Here is the Mint X theme in different colors. And here you have Mint Y and you you get mint y in uh, bright colors or in dark colors just as you like you also can install other themes if you like them but this is default in linux mint in general here you got the fonts uh, this is just like in ubuntu uh, here you have um, for example the, the window title font this is appearance preferences here and if you want to enlarge the title font you can do that here ubuntu medium you also can change the font itself but now i only want to enlarge the window title font and here you can see appearance preference preferences is much larger than before so let's go back to default it was 10 select this and now close it you also uh, can configure the window behavior let's go into that for example i only give you a, a example select windows when the mouse moves over them here you can see nothing happens if i move the mouse over the control center let's activate that and now you see the window is activated uh, you select a window by moving the mouse over the window i'm not a big fan of that behavior because you can accidentally uh, select windows and maybe you don't want to do that so close that again let's go to the panel you see the panel i think the mate panel is very very good because it's very intuitive to handle it's very simple you don't have all the functions that you find in cinnamon but it's very intuitive and very easy to use uh, you have to go to properties and now you see you can um have the panel here at the bottom you can also um move it to the top here one click and you also can enlarge it here are 27 pixels and here you can see you you enlarge the panel just as you like it and uh, this is very fast and very intuitive I like that a lot. You can also auto hide if you open a window and you can show the hide buttons if you want. And here we have a background uh, that we can configure. Here is the system background, but you also can use a solid color. Here is white. And now we have a white panel and it's just one click and you can uh, change the style from uh, to transparent. And now there is no panel visible at all. Uh, that's very good. I prefer for the moment to use the system theme here, but you can change that if you like. Close that. Now we want to add some items to the panel. You can add a disk mounter if you like. If you often uh, work with external drives for example or SD cards um, you can mount them very easily here you can add the item to do this fast so as you see there are not too many items here listed but I think for the casual user this is enough in cinnamon you can add 
many more items and you can download additional items. For whom is this good? Well, I think for fans of GNOME 2, I think there are many Linux users who don't like GNOME 3. The Mate desktop is a continuation of GNOME 2. And if you love GNOME 2, maybe Mate is right for you. If you want to have the look, the design and the philosophy of Linux Mint, but your computer uh, is not good enough uh, for the Cinnamon desktop, you should check out Mate or XFC. XFC is also very good. I like that uh, a lot. Although I myself um, am passionate about GNOME. Thanks for watching. Bye.